Let's take a look at the Crestron touch panel, which you'll find in some of our classrooms. Let's begin by tapping the screen to wake it up. This may take a few seconds. Once the system is awake, you can decide what source you want to send to the screen or any of the classroom displays. The sources are listed along the left side, including the desktop iMac, which can be booted into Mac or PC mode. You can plug in your own laptop or tablet, or use the Epson camera, which is located on the teacher station. It can be used as a document camera or as a webcam. There are also several Solstice pods in this room, which allow wireless connections between a laptop or tablet and a display destination. The destinations are listed in the middle of the touch panel. There are also controls to adjust speaker volume in the room, to mute both video and audio, and a breakout button, which automates the connections for the Solstice pods. Breakout mode automatically routes each pod to its dedicated destination. We're not going to explore that function in this video. Let's say you want to send the desktop iMac, which is already selected, to the projector. Tap Projector and the iMac will mirror to the screen. If, instead, we would like to send the document camera, tap Document Camera and then select your destination. The dot cam now mirrors to the screen. The system allows you to mix and match. Let's say you want to send the document camera to the projector, as it is now, and also to display C. We can simultaneously decide to send the iMac to displays A and D. It's quite straightforward. It allows you to send multiple sources to multiple destinations. If you want to mute the displays, you could, of course, use Video Mute, which will blank all displays. Or you could choose None as your source and tap the destinations. I've muted the dot camera, so now I'll send the iMac to the projector. This system allows you to choose how best to display your materials. I hope you found this useful.